There are three things you can do to improve your rhythm on guitar. And this works for any instrument, and you can start right now. Hey, I'm Derek at 5 Minute Music, and I have over 20 years experience teaching musicians how to improve on their instruments. And this is going to work. I've seen these three techniques work over and over again, so let's dive into it. Now you might notice I don't have my guitar in my hands. Because for the purpose of this video, I want to take us one step away from our instrument and just work on our internal rhythm and timing. So don't worry, we can apply this to the instrument, but I've seen this over and over again when I take a student and make them take a step back from their instrument and just clap and count and work on the techniques I'm about to give you, it takes their rhythm up a notch. So bear with me, we're going to do these exercises by clapping and counting, all right? Here we go. Technique number one is very simple. It's counting out loud. Now if you're a trumpet player, that can be difficult, but for a guitar player or a piano player, this is no problem and you should absolutely do it. Counting out loud helps my students, I've seen it over and over again, improve their rhythm. And I'm gonna show you how. Check this out. So I've written out this rhythm here and I've written the counts. And so when you play, you should count out loud. One, two, three, four, but you've noticed I've written some extra things up there. So let me tell you about that. So counting out loud, I know that seems simple, but you need to do it. Now you might have a problem, you might wonder, well, how do I count? What do I count? Well, that comes to subdividing. Subdividing is counting the little divisions of the beat, okay? So to count 16th notes, these are 16th notes, e and is what we use. So if it's on beat three, three e and a. If it's a triplet, like right here, you would count one and a, or whatever beat it's on, two and a, three and a. We count and a, one and a. So remember, 16th notes, they've got the two bars, we use three e and a. Triplets, one and a. And eighth notes, they have the one bar, four and, or whatever beat it's on, one and two and. So eighth notes are one and two and. Triplets are one and a, two and a. And sixteenth notes are one e and a, two e and a, three e and a. So you should always subdivide. So count out loud, subdivide, and here's the third one, anticipate. This is the one that a lot of players miss and I wanna give this to you. To anticipate just simply means to look ahead, to think ahead. So right here, I'm on beat two. I could just count one, two, and then three e and a, but I don't. I start anticipating beforehand. Anticipating is huge because it shifts your brain to what's coming next. Now sometimes you can't anticipate with your counts. Like here, four and to one and a. You can't go four and uh, one and a because you're counting eighth notes here and eighth notes and triplets have a distinct different feel. So here you have to make an adjustment just mentally knowing the shift's coming. But here, there's just a quarter note there so you can literally count out loud for the 16th notes that are coming next. So that's what you need to do. Count out loud, subdivide, and anticipate. Now we're gonna put those three together and we're gonna do this rhythm. Here we go. Oh, by the way, if you find this useful, please hit subscribe and hit the bell down in the comments below. That way you'll get more notifications when I do more lessons like this. So here we go. One, two, E, and a, ready, and go. One, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, and one, and a, two, and a, three, and a, four. All right, so we counted out loud we subdivided and we anticipated when we could. Let's do that again. One E and a, two E and a. I like to subdivide out as far as possible. I find myself even one or two beats out subdividing. So there we go. How about that? One E and a, two E and a, ready and go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four and one and a, two and a, three and a, four. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four and one and a, two and a, three and a, four. Now I wanna do this one more time, uh, but before I do, if you have a question of the day, click below in the comments. Do you have any questions about rhythm? Let me know, I'd love to help you out. Let's do this one more time. Here we go. One E and a, two E and a, clap and count. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four and one and a, two and a, three and a, four. So there you go. If, if you need to, just rewind it. Do that several times until you count out loud, subdivide, and anticipate. So if you need anything else, like guitar gear, click right here on this playlist. Or if you need more guitar lessons, click right here. As always, thank you for your time. Click right here to subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to get notifications whenever I produce a new video. As always, 
Thank you for your time. I really appreciate you. God bless.